Today's show is brought to you by Barracuda's Locust Point Tavern, located at 1230 East Ford Avenue, Baltimore. Come down and see Billy Hughes. He's been a chef for over 30 years. Barracuda also has daily specials. The codfish cakes are great. I was down there last week, and I had the fish tacos. Brilliant. Billy puts out a great dish, great atmosphere, friendly. What more else do you want from a place? Neighborhood bar and restaurant. Hi, welcome to the Espresso Sake Show. This is our fourth edition, right? Is this our fourth show? Fourth show, okay, fourth show. Uh, today's guests are Tariq Walker and Dennis Cabral. The reason I, I called you up, right, I called Tariq up, the reason I think they had so much in common, right, I think they look, look at them. <laughs> <laughs> they had so much in common. One's uh, tall, one's short, one's black, one's white. Uh, so I thought this would be perfect, but in... Uh, for the real world, they both played how many years together? Wow. Yeah, we start, started in Washington. Washington, Washington Warthogs, right? 90, so, gosh. 94, 95 yeah. until like 2003, yeah. 2006. Yeah, we did, no, that, that was from Washington, and then yeah. we went no, to Baltimore to play together. Right. Yeah. yeah. He, he was playing already, and uh, I didn't even know about this winter league. And then I found out he was with Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. At the won time, a championship, yeah. and I came yeah. out to watch his first game here. In Milwaukee, the so in Baltimore. you weren't in Baltimore then? And then we I met in Baltimore. I played a season in Milwaukee before coming back. So I was in Harrisburg, went to Milwaukee, and then came back to Baltimore. But you were in Baltimore before that. Yeah. Okay, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. And then when I got there, you were both there. So when yeah. I was there, what what year was that? When I started. No, we actually played together. Yeah, we oh. played together back in 94, 95. Right, right. And then that's when, when you I first went. came in as a rookie, you were there. Right. And, and that was the MPSO or the? NPSO. The MPSO. Yeah. Yeah. It was oh. a spirit back then. Right. Uh, I don't I'm, have... not, I'm not that old. Yeah. <laughs> I, that's, the NPSO, and I hate that. I've talked to Tariq about this, but it was like a blur to me. I had, I, I can't remember any of it hardly. I think it was because when the MISL folded, the original league, right, right. It, it folded, then money went down, everything, everybody left the league, yeah. right, and then this NPSL was around, but it was like like the minor league at one time, yeah. right, and right. then the MB MPSL became the main league, but a lot of people retired and yeah. quit, and uh, and then, but I, I ended up staying there and playing a couple years, I mm -hmm. think it was, right, yeah. and then that's where I think I met you, yeah. right, met Tariq, and then... Uh, then that was it. After that, then it came back as a blast. Came back right. as a blast. Right. And the MISL at that point. Yeah, and who yeah. knows? It had like five different names, the didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Names, right. Right. I remember playing with the Washington, uh, what's not the, yeah, playing for the Washington Warhawks. That was the Sissel or something like yeah. that, right? Yeah. 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 The Continental yeah. Indoor yeah. Soccer yeah. League. And then I remember hearing about this Winter League. Winter League. You, you, don't, you don't play in the top league in indoor soccer. So what do you mean? What is the top league going on here? And then Gorn Hunyak came up. Right. Um, and Troy Snyder, but Gordon was the big name coming to Washington, and then everybody said, "Well, this guy plays for Kansas City. He's the man. You know, he's he plays with in a Division One league in the winter." I was like, well, "What is the Division?" <laughs> I had no idea. That's right. That's right. That's so right. it was funny because it came back to me later on. First, I went to watch Tariq playing uh, against Milwaukee and Baltimore. And you said, "There's no way this like, is Division One." What? Where's the Division One here? You know, like, <laughs> like what happened? Like did I miss the game or it's next? But anyways, yeah, I, it, and you guys had it, you know, a really good team. I remember, and, and we spirit used to be, you know, terrible. But but anyway, so that's when I start putting things together. And then when I, I was approached to possibly come and play for the walk for for the spirit, uh, Ronnie Simmons said, "Hey, uh, come down for practice. I introduced you to the coach, and maybe we." Who was the coach then? Uh, Mike. Mike Stankovic. Stankovic. Yeah. yeah. You so two I, hit it. I remember that. You, love you, you him. Yeah, my <laughs> favorite, favorite coach ever in the world. But anyway, so then I said, so I didn't even know anything about it. So I went to practice uh, at Du Burns, and then, and I, I was just like, okay, well, what's what, what's the difference? You know, the ball is different because, and, and it's no, I'm not kidding. CISL will play with size four. Right. That right. was a smaller ball right. back yeah. then. That's right. And then ball, the yeah. MPSL, I think, this huge big ball balloon kind went, of ball. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, all like, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, okay. Yeah. And, and a goal difference too. It was like a couple of things with the shootout. It was a couple of different things, 
so then I, uh, so I went to, to talk about the contract. The guy's like, look, we want to bring you in. You know, we're in the end of the season, but uh, we'd like to bring you in. So I walk into the office down at the arena, Drew Forrest. Name, Drew, right? Drew Forrest, Forrest yeah. Yeah. still there, yeah. So he's sitting in the back, like in the just big chair right there with the feet and up. And he was the general manager? Yes, yes. Yeah, Do you know, when I played, <laughs> Je- he was, <laughs> oh, jeez. But Drew would hand out the uh, appearances. That's okay. what he was back okay. then, right? Drew was kind of, and worked, stayed in and worked his way up. He was, wherever Kenny went, he, he went with Kenny, okay, right? It okay. was if Kenny stood this way, Drew stood this way, right? <laughs> Had some of the same sayings, right? Uh, I, Kenny would be getting his shoes shined at the airport. He would get the damn if Drew didn't do it that right. So anyway, he worked his way up, and I think at that time he yeah, was telling me he was the general yeah. manager yeah. at yeah. the time, right? Yeah. He, okay. was, he wasn't doing appearances then. He was no, somebody he's else. Gen- yeah, somebody it was the other guy, doing, little guy, uh, chubby guy, yeah. was doing it with the glasses. <laughs> but anyway, so sure, yeah. you know, so he's, right. de- he's definitely worked. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Oh, I can tell you so many stories yeah. about yeah. Drew Forrester. Yeah. So this, yeah. so so this is the funny one. I go like, the, the guy said, are you going to meet with the, you know, with the mm-hmm. general manager and stuff? I'm like, okay, I'm used to, you know, uh, people, Mike Evans, you know, Gene Davis from the Warhawks, mm-hmm. very professional people. And all of a sudden, I get... So what are you saying? Office. This wasn't professional. No, well, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's are Rick? used to, Rick? to work at a capital. You heard that? Okay. But this is tell you how unprofessional it was. <laughs> so I go out there, and Mike's thinking, he goes, like, yeah, we're going to talk to the, the, yeah, the manager. Yeah, and yeah, I'm like, okay, we're going to meet in your office. Right. I walk in, and all of a sudden, I look. I'm not going to open the door. This guy sitting like with the chair back, no shoes on, socks, up? feet up on, the, <laughs> on his desk. What's up? Know. And I'm like, what's up? So where's the manager? I'm looking at like, So the first thing they wanted to talk about is to throw to my face that, well, you coming from that summer Just, league, right? and that little... I was like, what? So they, I went to practice today, and I, and, and I watched you guys play. I said, you guys, it's just because you were playing in the summer, you guys playing in the winter, but you guys suck. So, you know? But anyway, so that Jeez. it was one of the things, like, well, I don't, do you think you can handle playing in this league? I said, what do you mean? What, what is the difference? You know, like, so they're trying to tell me that I was really playing in the division two, three, four, right, whatever. Before, right. <laughs> and they're like the big shots. So I'm going back and said, wait a second. I'm watching you guys play. Your record is terrible. You know, the fans, your own fans booing you guys at home and you guys getting killed here. And then, then you you think that, that I'm impressed with this? But anyways, uh, so I ended up... So you weren't impressed with him <laughs> or the league? It none, sounds like the men. None of them. None right. of them was impressed at all. <laughs> right, okay. But it was a, it was a good opening uh, you know, experience. experience for me, meeting uh, you know a bunch of other guys that I played before with. But... It was a uh, man. We used to but go. But it ended and, up. We used to get killed all the time. But it yeah. ended up becoming the major league, right? Uh, well, somewhat. Well, I think yeah. CISL folded. I'm not right. exactly it, sure yeah. why. Well, so a lot of those did. players transferred over. Some of them came over. over. That's right. And you know, it was just a time where you had some old MISL guys that were still playing. Um, you had CISL guys that transferred over. Right. So the NPSL and, just ended up being the only. Because there was no other league. There was yeah. the right. There was thing, no league. So. And as I was alluding to before, with the MISL, right? So, and were, you, were you around during the MISL, Mm-mm. or did you no. just come out of college, right? No, I think the MISL was done in like '88 or '89. No, 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 '92. Okay. Because I was uh, with San Diego the last year, and then that yeah, unfolded yeah. So, after that. So I came uh-huh. in in '93. 94. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. so the year after. Okay, yeah. but that. I mean, I, I'm sure you've heard of stuff. I mean, where in the, where it was at? Today yeah. it was on Facebook, and somebody put up Preki. Uh, Jungle, Stamankovic, and I'm trying to think who else they posted it with. And right. these were top right, right. players. Top I mean, right. and the money was, I mean, big time. I think right. Jungle was getting close to $300,000, right? And this was in the 80s, right? right? Stamankovic, I know, was up near 200. I know that for a fact, right? So, I mean, things were pretty big. I mean, players were coming over. Uh, and then when the league folded, Right, that, like even my last year, salaries are starting to come down, starting to come down, and then the league folded, and then you didn't hear Jungle, you didn't really hear of him playing anymore. Yeah, he didn't play more. Stamak- well, Stamakovich didn't play. Preki stopped playing. I think they everybody stopped playing, mm-hmm. and the salaries because the salaries went down. Right. So right. then that's when that MPSL came around, and I was like this far from calling it a day, right? Mm-hmm. Because it, it, I can't explain it. I mean, when you're going up, I, I think what you saw a lot. 
at, towards the end of that time period is if the, a local guy was like yourself in Baltimore, didn't have to move anywhere, exactly. didn't have to uproot <coughs> your family, then those guys would play for the local exactly. team. Exactly. But and if there was, wasn't a team in their local town, they weren't going to play. It just wasn't play. worth yeah. it to pack up and move or whatever. Right. Uh, but I still wanted to play and everything like that. So I stuck with it in that, that time period uh, when the NPSL, but I, I Something I, I'm saying, I don't remember it too much. I loved it when I was doing it, but it was <clears throat> three, four, five notches down. I just, right. the transition, don't get me wrong, some very good players, right? right? right. Ended up playing in that league. Right. Uh, but I can give you an example. <clears throat> there was a, uh, a player, I'm not going to say his name, but he was the best in the league, supposedly, mm -hmm. right? And he scores goals, 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 goals. In the NPSL. In the NPSL, yeah. right? And he was all this, all, I could name three, four players. And they could not start in the MISL. Wow. Right? And you know this guy. I could give you five examples of that, right? So it's not that they weren't good players, right? But the league had changed so drastically, yeah, right? right? Yeah. And, and that's when the NPSL came. But then it started getting better because people started realizing this is the only league. Right. And I think people stuck with it a little bit. And then you started having players like yourself coming up through, the, through this, which, you know, changed Changed the game a little bit with some of the older players that you were talking around. Right. Uh, so that's kind of what I remember the NPSL. So I think it was one of these, one of these, right. one of these, and then it came back, right? And then it started happening a little bit. And then now, as you guys know, right? I don't know where. This is one of my questions. This is why I wanted you. In common, what you have, you're both were coaches, mm -hmm. right? You both played. So one of my questions to you are, is do you think, I know this is a little off subject, do you think to be a top coach, okay, that you have to be a good player, a player, and a coach helps better than just being a coach that really hasn't played at a certain level? So we can go from the youth to, to high school, to college, to pros, uh, to the Euro European leagues, right? What do you think the best circumstances are for I mean, a coach? For a coach? I yeah, because you're both coaches. They both coached uh, professionally. You coached for what, two, three years? Yeah. Three years, and you coached two for two years. years, right? So there you go. I coached for four years, yeah. right? Uh, so what do you, Trey, what do you think? I've, for me personally, I, I like the fact that having a coach that had some player experience, I think there's a little bit more of a connection with players. Uh, when you when you talk about that, um, so do you think it's I, limited then? Because let's no, say it, you only hit because a, and I, I don't know if you notice it, but I, you know I coach youth clubs and all over the place, and I can always tell how the like the my op opposing coach, I can always tell if they've played before. Right, it's what they're kind of doing on the coach, field. Yeah, where the coaching or what they're saying, I right. can always kind of pick, pick out, well, right. this guy's played at this certain level. You can always tell. Right. And I don't know if it's, you know, something on paper. It's, just, it's not any one given thing. It's just you kind of get that vibe or that feeling that, eh, he might not know as much. Certain as, things. Yeah, right? certain things. But it yeah. changes drastically, mm -hmm. right? So let's say we have an eight-year-old team or a 10-year-old team. They're only at a certain level, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Right? They're only at a certain mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. uh, but then when you start going up the scale, right, 14s, 16s, 18s, pros, whatever, if you don't have not been through that, do you, mm -hmm. again, I'm going to ask you this, do you agree or not, that they're going to be your top coaches? Now, uh, under 10 that coach. If you haven't been through it? Yes. Or, yeah. Yeah. But I, I a lot of people it, have been I, through I, the listen, under 10. I, I think it's harder for a person to relate to kids and relate to playing any sport, regardless of soccer or anything, if you haven't played it before. Okay, I but agree. what if you only played a certain level? That's what I'm saying. Well, I, I, I honestly think what that it always like? gives you an extra, because you, you can be the expert, buy the books and go, get all your licenses, and it, it's awesome. God bless you for that, and there's people that can do it without even play. But then if you can add it, some playing time, some experience at any level. Why? Why? Why is that? And I'll tell. Well, in my experience, I agree with Tariq. It's just like how you. It's 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 a lot easier for. I can sit here and tell you how to do it, but if you, I see you, I look at it in your face, and you go like, "Well, coach, how can you show me how to do it?" If I can go out there and show you how to do it. Okay. Well, what if you, you what know, look in the uh, Premier League? There's some coaches that are 50, 60 years old. 
Well, but to me, they're not showing. But the problem it is, t- but the way I look at it, those guys already know though, how to do right. it. But they're not showing it. But so, the, but at the, the at the level that those guys are playing, I, they they already have in their mind yeah. what exactly the coach expected. And, and they're not so, showing it, but they have fifteen assistants so, on right, their squad. Right, right. <laughs> and, 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 and then to me, it's just like again, at that level, it's expected to those guys, to, you know, by the coaches to say something and expect something from it. And they know how to do it. It's not like you have to technically tell them what to do. At the youth level, it's almost like you have to show them. And it, it's almost like I don't even have to speak your language. If you, if, if I'm watching, that, that's what I had to go through learning indoor when I came out of here. I think I had a really good coach. That Jim Gabera was a guy that not just participated in, in practices and game, uh, and even played, but he was explaining to the whole team. I had no idea what he was saying. I would be in the back of the line and watching the guys. I'm like, shit, okay. I'm not going to do what this guy's doing. That's terrible. But look at this guy. Now I know what the coach is expecting. So to me, you know, it always adds the, you know, a little bit more. Always going to have advantage if you played at a certain level because especially coaching youth See, but always, I don't know whether it's always. So if we're taking a guy that, that's played for a long, I can tell you a lot of good players that couldn't coach if oh, they were life dependent on it because sure. they have no desire, right? Sure. They don't have the patience. There were some players... Uh, that were, I, again, I'm not going to use names because they're not here, but were the top players in that league. Then they went to coach, right? And not because of wins, losses. I'm not talking about that. I mean, that has, there's so many facets right, right. involved in wins and losses mm-hmm. because you don't have the players, you don't have the money, you don't have this, you don't have that. You're just starting off. I'm not talking about it. Right. They could not coach. They yeah. couldn't control their own emotions, in a sense, while they're talking with under people, uh, 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 with people, and trying to understand people, they couldn't. They couldn't do that, mm. right? They coached the way they kind of played. And I, I spoke with uh, P.D. Karenji about this. Uh, a lot of coaches will coach the way they played, and there's some per, a particular people you probably even know. Uh, they used to play a certain. Let's say they were forward. Right. Well, they would do forward drills, right? Mm-hmm. Or they would play. Everything revolved around that forward play, Everything's right? An offense. Yes, offense. Mm-hmm. They couldn't step outside because they were so good themselves, right? They didn't. I don't know where they even looked at everything else, right? They looked at particularly what they were doing, right? So now you have a player or a coach that wasn't the greatest player, but had to think so much more because he couldn't get away with the other what the other person could do that was right. so good because mm-hmm. that guy had so much athletic ability or or, uh, talent. I don't know what you want to call it, right? But the other guy, a Pep Guardiola who played in the middle, I'm just using this as an example, someone who played in the middle or worked there, he had to see things from a whole different point of view and and now he's grasped the whole thing because he couldn't just use speed. He couldn't just use strength or size or or whatever it was. So there lies the difference, right? I think in in coaching in general, right? Uh, But I still believe in, in, my, in my mind, is that if you have not reached a certain level, okay, I'll give you, this is a great, I'll never forget this. This is one, I, I even used you in, um, in when I talk to people, even, even yourself. So you've come to, I, I've come to the, the team, right? And you've already been established. Both of you are quite established. I can remember, I think, I don't know what year it was, but you, you weren't getting away, because he was very offensive. You're very offensive, right? And you would you would stop take you would go this way go end up coming on your right and, and, and clocking it right and hitting it and then you would go you'd stop and it was a, I think it might have been the second year I'm not sure and you were saying I, I'm not getting away with this as much anymore well if I'm marking you right for one of them I'm going to slow you down bring somebody else over right right and then if you happen to lose the ball then we're going and I'll never forget this and I'm sure you don't remember but it sticks in my mind I'd say got to keep moving. You got to keep the ball moving, right? You got to keep your pace. So if I'm coming at you, right, and I stop, well, now other people can come back and support this guy. If it was one on one, you're gonna you're gonna take yeah. the yeah. cleaners all day, right? Yeah. Same with you. Yeah. Right? I do. I'm gonna bring. But if you keep moving with that move, right, you and you don't stop, there's they can't catch up. Right. This person's there's no way they're gonna stay with you. So it was keeping that, and you were at a certain level still. And I thought, hmm. I see that. Why could I pick that? I'm just using this for example. Right. Like him, right? He holds people off. He wants to face people sometimes, or he wants somebody right on their back. And I remember we were you were doing you were in a power play, and you were in the middle yeah. of trying to tell you to bring yeah. straight out, back, out opposed to, front, to yeah. not to, to some. Wide, yes, right. yes. Well, there you go. So for me, if I have never been in that position as a coach, 
and I've never played. And you may not say, you may say, F you. I mean, who the hell has he never right. played before? That's a problem, right, right? Right, right? So now when I go into this locker room, well, you know, they, somebody may look up Wikipedia. They may look up your bio and say, oh, he did this, he did this. One, so now I've got a little advantage, right? You have the credit, right. credibility. And, yeah, right. the credibility. credibility yeah. Can I coach? I don't, they don't right. know that. But they're probably saying, no, he can't because no, no players think, you can coach. It's always right. the players, but right. which is okay, right? right? And then you go and you show this little thing, or you show this little thing, or and it could be so subtle, but it could change something completely. Absolutely. You know, it was. I remember. I remember exactly what you're talking about on the power play because I think I was trying to get into that position, get in into the middle. that spot, and on a power play, and but I was getting my shot blocked every time because yeah, right I was going wide. wide on my turn. And then we we worked on it one day in training, and then I think I think I ended up next scoring. game scoring just scoring like that. Just like so that. Yeah. now you think, huh? This guy, whether it's me or somebody, that makes a difference. Mm, that makes, that difference. makes you know yeah, what? Absolutely. This makes sense, right? And, then, and you know what the locker rooms like. You can feel what a locker room. Some people can, some people can't. But the respect factor, yeah. right? Yeah. It, it changes a little bit, yeah. right? So again, that that question, does it help for to be a coach? Yeah. And that's had more experience. What if he hasn't had as much experience? Do you respect him off the, the bat? You're always giving people respect regardless. Right. right. Yeah. But there's always going to, well, you know. Supposed to. Hey, but, I got a question. Know, like I've, I've had certain coaches that were great leaders. Right. Okay. That's what I was going to say. So you know you're, that they you're not learning. They you might around. not be learning so much about the, the game the soccer itself. Part of, but yes, yes. That person was a great leader. and That helped you for yeah. that part. Yeah. Right, because that to me. But but then that breaks down when you're losing. When you're losing, losing, losing. Right. I'm just using. Yeah. Then now you need to get out of the slump. You need this. You need right. that. And this. What's this guy yeah. have and, now and to I, offer? I call you know like it's, it's those little intricate parts of the game, like intricacies, right? There's little these little pieces of the game that if you haven't played, you just don't know. If you haven't experienced it, you just don't know. So, you know, like you said something about you're a forward and coaching on. on coaching a forwards way. A lot of times I catch myself being a forward and a target player, but I feel like I can help defenders even more than I can help target players. Well, right. because you know what right. they don't I like. Know, I know what they, I know what defenders back. have used against me and what I didn't like, and I can help a defender in, in coaching. And I think that's, uh, to me, that's the best way. You're used to taking people on, yeah. so you could teach a defender, listen, if I used to take this guy on this way, yeah. he goes this way. Well, don't. Feel, feel this. Like the guy, if I'm marking him up, right, or remember the kid Boney? Mm -hmm. he, yeah. how, tall, how big was he? Six, seven or something. Six, seven, yeah. three, almost 300 right. pounds? Right. Well, you can't hold him up. Yeah. Force him to one side. He was left-footed. He would use to come around, mm -hmm. drag, roll it, roll it, clock it, right? So forcing to the other side to where he would go in towards the boards, mm -hmm. right, and double up because he didn't have the greatest vision, right? So as soon as that ball's hit over towards that, now he can't hit it. He can't roll, 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 and hit it where the goal is. Right. He's got to go towards the board. Then you double. I remember this. Right. We played Philadelphia. Just double him up. Right. Oh, you pick it up. You're, you're, you're good right. then because he can't find the, the, the outlet because he's kind of looking down. Mm -hmm. But if you, you square him up right in the middle of the park. But those were the things that He's you, the only guy I've seen score. Back heel. A back heel. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it had power yeah, on from it. from outside the box. <laughs> back, back like heel. somebody's face it. Yeah. Oh, but my those God. are the things that, to me, we, I, to, I try to, you know, as much as I could, to take advantage of, you know, being in that situation and recognize, like, okay, you know what? This is was something that it made it harder for me as a forward because I hated to, when a defender, I'll tell you right now, like one guy, Pat Morris, what a pain in the neck it was to, when I was on the field and then I had to mark him because he knew to take me all the right. way to the other side right. of the field. Run I hated that. Run you. Because then right. you got to chase you. So and then, then you I'm can't like, play Pat, offense. Seriously? He's like, Denny, let's go for a ride. I was like, Jesus Christ, like, you're going to go for it. And then playing in Philly, it was like a huge field. And all of a sudden, I'm catching myself in like on the top of my box and knowing that also he could finish. So I had a lot of respect. It wasn't like if I would watch some of those guys go like, go ahead, like I know right. you can finish, save sure. your life. Right. But Pat was like, good on the ball, good finisher, and then he knew what he was doing. So I always thought like, okay, if I ever coach, I'm gonna tell the forwards, like, look, you gotta find a way to switch, you gotta find, because if you get caught with this guy here, and he's smart enough, he's gonna go. So those are the things that if you're not there, mm -hmm. you've never you been never there, understand. then it's gonna be tough for you to, you know, again, to get that credibility and say, look, been there, you know, I've done this. Trust me, try once to see how it works. And you're like, oh shit, you know what? It really works. Like you did, you scored a goal. So now the next step is like, what's next? I got that, I trained, worked, what's next? So he, 
you already got that. He's going to come back to you for those things. So he's going to come back and say, look, I'm having a tough time here. What do you think? Because they, we know that you guys, you, you as a coach, played already. So you know how to explain, how to mm -hmm. demonstrate. You know, you, demonstrate and I've found, again, very few players, very few, right, are open. Very few. Uh, yeah. I, I can tell. Well, you're, <laughs> this is funny because uh, the reason, another reason I brought them on, because they were there when, we, when I first came in. And... I was curious. I, I've never really asked you together what your I, what your feelings were when somebody new comes in, right? Uh, I think it was. I don't know what year it was. Was it two thousand? I cannot. I get them mixed up. No, My first, first year first with Bobby. Right? That was your first championship. Yeah, so that yeah. was two thousand two. Was it? Good God. Two thousand one. Yeah. Well, regardless, right? Yeah. Regardless. So you had another coach. Your team wasn't doing so well, right? You were, I no, can, we no, I can was, remember there was, was something going on and I was in the stands and I'm watching this game, right? And I had, I had nothing, no idea about being a coach or whatever. I'm watching, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I mean, just basic things were all you're over the, you're struggling. <laughs> yeah. And there was this one defender, I swear he might have been on the ground 25 times, right? He didn't know whether he was just chasing, he had a lot of heart, chasing, it looked like his head was cut off. And it was all, and I think you lost that, I, I know you did, right? You lost that game, and I thought, jeez, ah, right? And I had no intentions of coaching. I had no idea, I had no idea about any of this. And then uh, a gentleman named Bob, you know, Bobby, Bobby, I don't have to tell you, I'm telling the audience, but Bobby McAvan, mm -hmm. uh, he was a radio guy. Right, and he ends travel up travel with us all the time. He, right, but he traveled with you all he the time. He knew the team like by name and. But by still different games. than being in, being in a locker. I mean, but he no. knows everybody, but you and you don't even have know to. He coached, be, or, well, there you go. There right, you wouldn't have no clue. Right, no. and so he gets the job. I call him up. Just I said I heard, and I didn't even know how I heard this. He says, "Yeah," I said, "Well, I'm the kind of kid." I said, "I'll come down. I'll help you out right now. I'll be your assistant." And he said, and. I didn't hear none. We were just talking like we right. because we, we used to talk every day almost. <laughs> so, uh, lo and behold, I think it was a, a couple weeks later, he says, yeah. He said, come on down. Because he had to pass it by Ed. Mm -hmm. And I know you know me and Ed had a little bit of a conflict way before, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and everything got okayed. So, when you're in that position, right, As you players. hear about players, your players, and you hear about there's a new coach coming. Your team's not doing well anyway. I think at the time when I came in, you were two and seven. I don't know what it was. It was it was not good. It was bad. It was good. So and, and so you got a new guy coming in. Okay, so Bobby comes in first, right? And he stuck with uh, an assistant coach that he really didn't. It was from the old coach. Am I correct? People are pointing fingers. There's clicks. There's this. This guy's no good. This guy's no good. That guy, you know, blah blah blah. All you, you know how it is when you're in. I mean, you obviously you do. So a new guy comes in. What is going through your head right now, Rick? I call him Rick. I call him Rick. No one calls oh, him Rick, geez. but it's Rick. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think you know. I mean, you're don't, you're not you're being you're trying to be nice. No, I'm not trying. You're to try, be you nice, are trying to be trying to figure out what to nice say. Be nice to who you? Of course, you're not to your public, <laughs> right, right? Right. No, I mean, I, I think <laughs> we were just all kind of. A little bit confused. I, I think a lot of us were there because of the coach that that got removed. A lot he brought a, a lot of us there to the okay. team, um, but I think a lot of us were just confused about where we were at the time. Like cause I, I couldn't understand why we were losing. And Don't players though say, "Listen, it's not us. This is coach." It's well, always like that. I, I think, I think like you that. get some of that, but but I, I also now. I also think that at that time. We had a more mature group, and a lot of us in that group were looking at ourselves. Oh uh, well, do, I do I'm glad. That. I'm glad you thought that. I do believe I, that. I, yeah. I think you, from coming in, okay, again, from coming in, yeah. you. I think you're completely wrong. Yeah. I think you're complete. See that? That's. I would I, figure I think, that from I, I him. Think, I, I would figure was, that I from Tariq. Because Tariq yeah. thinks that. I he's, think there was a core group in there, and it might not have been everybody, but I think a, a, a lot of kids group. in that group. We're looking at themselves. Yeah, and then you know, honestly, I I think you're so I agree, wrong. but it's a combina to me it was a combination. I to me it was like we and, and having the, the roster we had at the time, it was just like, okay, we lost control this way. The 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 majority of the, the experienced players 
didn't trust the, the you know, the, and didn't want to. Didn't trust to do the coaching. The staff, they didn't like the, the coach. Yeah, they I wanted did. their own guy. In. Am I correct? I, yes, they did. Yes, <laughs> yes. It was almost like didn't want to follow the steps. Didn't want to follow the. the it was just He's lost like, it. He's lost the whole locker so room. He right. lost the locker room. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and then we kept going, you know, dragging ourselves into that hold, and then all of a sudden it's just like, okay, not just in the locker room. You lost the team. Okay, one second. So you say players looked at self. He says they didn't believe in the coach whatsoever, and they were looking at that problem. Yeah, but you, you, said, you said once the coach was removed. No, 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 I said at that time when things were going on and yeah. you were getting ready to get a new coach, yeah. right? So, again, you're putting the blame on now, Your the coach. specific question was what were, you, what were you thinking when the new coach came in? Okay. And I think yeah. a lot of us, when the new coach came in, a lot of us were looking at... You right, weren't saying we're, it was his problem. It was the coach's fault. No, I'm saying once the new coach came in, a lot of us were looking at ourselves like, all right, we got we to gotta get this better now. Okay. Right. Okay. It's almost like a That's reset I mean. button, you know, for yeah. everybody. And, I, and, and one of the things, too, honestly, I was... Yeah, it was bad. I was just frustrated, and it was... But I, was, I wasn't part of the group. Is that the group when it, when it was like a group? That, uh, there, yeah. was a cl there was a clique. Yeah, there was, was a lot of clicks. I wasn't in a group. I had no idea about the... How can you not the, know about a clique? No, I, wasn't I, I don't think I, I was No, no, no. I just either. didn't know that there was... I didn't know it was got, like, almost I, like a group wait, getting wait, together. Wait, can I intercept house? for a little I no bit? Idea. Maybe that you guys don't know this. I don't know. All right. But there was a, there was a group. Right? There's a group. Well, we, I know that now. Oh, well, you know. I know that later. The there was like a group. That. Later, later, later we figured out. Getting right. behind the scenes. Yeah, later, Going we, to, absolutely. later we figure that out. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, but yeah. I, okay. We weren't part of that group. group. No, no, I, I don't, no, I don't. I know you weren't. We're I, know practice, you weren't. I remember we were practice at, at Baltimore Arena probably a few days before the game, before the first game or the, <laughs> after the new coach, whatever. <laughs> and then they're like, okay, we're going to go and meet upstairs. Okay. I remember Paul. Like Paul was just like, what? We're like, what are we doing? No. 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 Uh, Paul Wright. Oh, Paul Wright. I what are we doing? And we're laughing, like, what are we going to talk about? Like, <laughs> we just have to win games. We have to play. God, and then we Paul went upstairs. There was a meeting. Right. And then you can tell right away, right there, I looked at him like, Paul left. Oh. Yeah, Paul left, left when that happened. Yeah, yeah he got, yeah, that's right. But, but all, it was, I'm not kidding. It was so shocking to me because I wasn't part of that group. That had already that meeting. A plan. They had they had their own things happening. I wasn't part of it. Okay, do you agree with that? I think. Do you agree with that 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 mentality right there? I. I or do you I think it just happens like all stuff. the time, regardless? But do you agree with that mentality? I mean. I, yes or no? Do you I, agree I with like, it? I don't like it. That's. Uh, I, I can't stand it. I don't like yeah. it. To me, hey, it's, it's separating you from the. You need leaders. Yeah. You need people, but everybody's got to be involved. Yeah, a leadership is different That's to completely me. different. Yeah, Leading by example, everybody's involved. You're pulling people together, your whole team, right? That was not happening, right? I, I know that for a fact. I, I so, yeah. so your mentality, is, you're saying, Tariq, is that now you're starting to look at yourself a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, right? you're you're, once, once the new coach came in, at that point, all that crap had happened. It was done. New right, coach came, right. comes in. And I think a lot of us as players are like, all right, well, how, now we got to fix it. Because were you going to listen to this, coach, or you weren't open to it? I, well, again, I know people really weren't open to it, which is understandable because yeah. they don't know what they're getting. Yeah. And then going back to what we originally started, this, yeah. this conversation is, now you're going to go look back and read, who is this guy? Yeah. Who is this guy that – and then you've got senior players who played a long time, have been playing a long time, and they've got their own ideas. They want their own people in, right? And now they're not giving this guy a respect because they're saying he's a radio guy. He's this, he's that, right? Who is he? And okay, and I understand this, right? Because everybody, everything's in chaos at this point. Right, right. So that happens, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? So now, now we're going here. Now he comes in his first day. No, before he... But, what happened? I wasn't there because... I don't think they so, announced it on that first meeting. Right. What happened after that meeting? Did they say anything or... I don't know. No, there was... Well, it was just like, look, uh, this is what's happening. You know, I'm, I'm out. Right? Who said that? Well, I think the coach, he, coach came like down announced. on the field. Didn't he come down on the... No, 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 no. It was, it was a, a, everybody up in the locker room. Everybody's on the field and like everybody up in the locker room. We have something here. We're having a meeting going on, and then the coach at the time came up and then announced that he was wasn't going to be the. Was gonna be, right. But at the time, this is the thing that bothered me for not. I felt that who, who decides, who decides? You know, at that situation, who decides who should be the group? How, how do we put this group together? Like, no, no, you, he, no, we can't bring him in. 
Now, he's not part of this. Let's put all three together. Let's go out there and talk to the owner, or let's, let's, let's get rid of this coach. He's, this is not working. We are, it's almost like we put this group together. It's like, wait a second, I'm not part of this group? Like, okay, he's not part of this group. Who knows this? Who's, what group is this? So to me, it's just like, <laughs> now I'm, I'm scared. Like, so you guys, I know you're talking shit about me somewhere, somehow. <laughs> you're not including me on this. So I'm, I'm on the other side of it. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So I got to be careful. I know that's I right. be careful so now you're you, start- you and you. Okay, now, hold, now, hold, guys. now hold on, right? You just said you don't trust these guys because you're on the outside. You don't know what's going on. You know there's a group going in. So what kind of dynamic is that on the team with the team? I mean, right there, that's a problem. Yeah. That's a huge, that huge was. problem. You got this group, this group, this group, right? I understand there's going to be cl- – back when – Again, when I was playing, I hate to always reminisce, right? But that's what this show is for, I think. Uh, we had this group because there was a lot of foreigners, mm-hmm. right? This group. And you understand they felt more comfortable with that. Right. Mm-hmm. But when, it, when you're talking, when you play, when the ball's rolled out, it's a whole different story. You either come together, right? Yeah. And that's the end of it. But now they go and they talk and they have a cup of coffee. They have a drink. They're going to be in their group. That's understandable, right? right? right, right, right. Uh, but this is a little different. Oh, There's a different. power struggle here, Absolutely. right, to where they're saying this group, maybe five of them together, and people don't want to be excluded from that group, so they join that group. And they're listening to maybe three or four, right, and then that three or four listens to one and two, and that's how it becomes that. Now you've got maybe two, three, four players like yourself saying, I don't know what's going on right now. So now you're in a locker room. Who's running this? Is it the coach? Right. Is it the players? Absolutely. Is it, you know, is it the owner? So here's, a, this is a problem. And just from this little conversation, this is all in, what, how many days, I don't know, you, you've been playing for two so, months, right? Yeah. At that time, maybe? Yeah. Maybe a month because you were like two and seven, whatever it was. I mean, but all that we're talking about now, that happened within like six, seven days. Absolutely. Right, but that was a buildup. Yeah, the sure. coach, you get rid of, they're not yeah. doing so well. Yeah. There's something, the players are going to leave, and players want other people. So, okay, so he's gone, right? He comes in, he's gone. Uh, he told you he's gone. He's leaving. And then, is there a day between, or does the coach come in that, well, no, 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 that, that night? That group actually stood up and said, all right, we want he's this out. Guy. No, no, he's out. And then... The group almost like, it's almost like, all right, let's take the mask away. I'm part of this group. I was part of this. I'm part of this. They got in front of us, and then they, they, they start saying, all right, guys, this is what we were thinking. This is what's happening. Didn't a player take over, though? For a while, until... Because it, it wasn't doing well, right, Absolutely. when he took over. It wasn't a transition, so it wasn't like the new coach came in. So it was almost like... Okay, we we'll clean the house. We're good. Party's over. You know, he's done. He's out. Here's now our guy. Gonna, this won't be Here's our guy. He's part of that group, am I right? Right there, we felt. Yeah. Was he part of that group? Yes, was yes. he? Yes. Rick? Yes. Who was? Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's trying to think who it is. You can tell he's getting old right now. Let, me, say, let, me, te- right. let me text you. Let me text you. But okay. Now, that, names, that, but yeah. He was part of the group. Yes. But but the whole thing, it was, even though the rest of the team, we we knew. That I and honestly, there's there's no way to hide this. We Ooh. knew that the coaching staff could not at that time could not handle, you know, the level of the commitment and the level of the experience, the level of everything. What uh, the original they, coaching staff? Yeah. Could okay. Not yeah. Kept, you know, keep up with okay. that. Okay. No. That's why they wait, lost control. Wait. Of. Wait. Okay. So again, what were we talking about in the very beginning of the show? And I asked you that question, right? Does he need to have? I played at a certain level, an experienced coach, for the players to respect them. You remember that? We right, went through right, that. Right. And you both agreed. Yeah. So whoever this gentleman was, whoever came in, right, didn't probably have that. That He has a respect because he knows people player know, players know that if I don't do this, they, he might just get rid of me. But do they respect him? Probably not. No respect. And then when you get no a group respect. together yeah. and things right. aren't going well, no one respects a coach then, right? right? I don't care who he help. is. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look right. at Zidane, right? right. The best players that ever played, and people are saying stuff, but he's got all that behind him to keep it going a little longer right. than and, most. And which, which that's what they didn't have. Right. Mm. They lost, and also because of the results and because everybody was frustrating, you know, about all kind of – but it, I, I don't know if you agree with this, Tariq, but again, the coaching the, – the coach could not match – like the coach yeah. could that challenge that group, right? Right. He on didn't. and off the field, on the field, it was just like, what do know, I do? I don't what know do what I else. Do? What How else? do I what manage? Just is this guy here? That guy here? This guy should play. And it. then he's listening to the players tell him a little right. bit, and then they, he had a favorite player absolutely. maybe or two. And off the field, <laughs> no connection 
with players off the field to, to get the feeling for what's happening. Yeah, what yeah, yeah. Do. So then that's when by the time they figure it out, it was already gone. They were already like, look, nobody wants you guys. And and the, the weird, like the part of that I that was weird for us to understand and then to deal with, it was that the coaching staff didn't go away. They kept working with the club. So that was weird for us, right? It was a little bit <laughs> weird because they were like, on the stands the next day or the two the two days after watching practice while we practice with a new coach or whatever new group and it, and then it's almost like I, I i remember thinking this way all of a sudden we start playing strange, we start yeah. winning and they were like watching if i was in their situation i'd be like son of a bitch now you guys playing now you guys winning games. well that was later dead line that's dead line right, so, but still, okay so but let's not like, jump too far ahead this is good so okay now they bring in the player coach kind of right he's right. taking over he, Just in the interim you, yeah, well no, that wasn't the case. What happened, he was taking over. Things, and you still weren't go, doing too well. Am I correct? Yeah, it didn't go. There wasn't and a so now, positive. Yeah. And they, right, and so then this guy, or whoever it is, I don't know who it is, right, says, oh, maybe this is not for me, right, because things aren't going so well at this point. Then they say, we need another guy, Yeah. right? Now they go get this other guy. Bobby right, Mac Bobby McAvan. Right, so we can use his name, Bobby. Bobby's a good friend Poor of mine. Bobby, man. Yeah, I love Bobby. Right. <laughs> uh, so Bobby comes in, right? So he's he's older. I mean, he's I guess he's Old nine or uh, nine years older than me, right? Uh, like eighty-five. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. But anyway, uh, that. So he comes in, and now you've got this, still this group, and things are still, it's still chaotic a little bit, and things aren't getting much better. So now they're thinking, this guy's old school. You just said it. Yeah. You just said it. You said this guy, what does he know? He's, he's warm up when the first day we're like laughing about it. We're like, come on, man, he did this. Like 80 years ago, he did that warm up. What was this? See, I don't know. It, it was, to me. But anyway, it, like, it, it was a warm up, right? But it wasn't, you felt at that time, up the, up to times, up to the times, right? Up to mm -hmm. par for what you were looking for. It had to be something drastic to change, right? Absolutely. To get to capture somebody. So then, right? So then you're, <laughs> you're, you're there, you're going along, right? He still has the old assistant coach, Bobby does, right? Mm -hmm. For a couple games. And right. then that blows up, correct? Right. right. So what's going on in your mind then? Because you weren't really winning then, were you? No, you still weren't winning. Still, like it was a, no. it was a really but I think tough start. I think along that time we were figuring stuff out, but not right. getting results. Right, right. Well, that's so a there, good start. There was a yeah. there was a time okay, but what, there okay. was a time where we were just all off this off on different. Yeah, everybody pages. was doing their own. Doing yeah, their own yeah, that's the game and, I saw. And, and and so we weren't getting results. And then there was a little bit of a time where I, I, we're starting to get on the same page. Why? Why? And I don't, I don't know exactly well, what that was. I'll tell you. But I think a part like again what I say a part of it. Is You're the looking players at yourself looking a little at bit. themselves. Because yeah. you knew you had a long season to go. Yeah, People well, start okay. thinking about their own job. Players, That's what I think. Yeah, thinking about players, their own I think we start looking at ourselves. Yeah. Like, we got to figure this out Absolutely. ourselves. Right. And if I don't do well, where am I going to go? Absolutely. Right. And I, yeah. I do right. agree that happens a little bit. But right. that's tough because now you got individual, 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 yeah. individual. But there was a couple so I, I think there was a, there was a the time period around going. there where we started looking at ourselves. Like, all right, we got to fix this. We got to fix this. We got to fix this. We started figuring that kind of stuff out on ourselves, and, but we still weren't getting results. Right, because right. you got a lot of individuals yeah. now figuring out their own self, yeah. right? Yeah. Not a plan to say this, 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 yeah. right? And you figure out yourself, but you still need something within a framework to keep everybody together. Absolutely. Right? I, again, that's just my opinion. No, no, yeah. I'm only going to tell you this, why? It's because when I came in, I can only speak, again, going back from what we were originally talking about, is through my own experience, mm. right? And what, what happened and so on and so on. So, so now Bobby comes in, right? And you're still not doing so well, right? You're, uh, then there's a blow up, right? Am I right? Mm -hmm. There's a blow up at the airport. Mm -hmm. And then the next, next couple days, right, he's gone. Mm -hmm. The assistant coach is gone, correct? Right. right? And then Bobby gives me a call, right? Uh, actually, I called. I told you I, I had talked mm -hmm. to him. Then he called me out of the blue. And I thought, are you kidding me? Right, and I, I honestly, I don't even know what I was doing at the time. You know how much I'm working usually, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> working. Right. So he's at a gym, <laughs> working, yeah. working out. Yeah. Bobby, what? Bob, Bob, you take this yeah. job seriously? I'm in. I'm oh, in. Oh, it's oh, he does it have a gym, lifting. Does it have a gym could, membership? Could you spot me? A <laughs> lifting a tea. So, yeah. so he calls me, and I'm in, in my again. When I'm looking at this, I'm saying, I can't believe I got a call back. I honestly thought. There's no way he's kidding, because Bobby, you know he has that dry sense right, of humor, right? right? right. And 
What's your hobby? I, I, what's your hobby, what's Bobby? Your right? Hobby, what's your Bobby? hobby? Uh, <laughs> for the love of the game. But it, again, I'm thinking, oh my God, you're kidding me. I, this is great. This is the best thing that's happened. I, I, I'm telling so you. Right away. I'm, we're we're, we're going to win this thing. I swear <laughs> on my kid's life. Because I've, I've, I've seen this. I'm thinking, why, why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing this? Why aren't they doing this? You know, if they just do this. And I was very naive. Right. right from that 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 point of view, but I'm looking at the players and experience, and they had this, they had that. You had pretty much a lot of a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. That was quite good. Yeah, yeah. You had some weak spots, but those kids weren't so weak. They just they were all over the left field, yeah. and they ended up becoming decent players. Yeah, yeah. So you look at that from the outside and say, I think. I, but then, how naive is that to think you that you can win it? Right, that you can change it all just yeah. like that. Two and yeah. seven. Yeah. So not just change, but end up winning. Yeah. We're winning, <laughs> right? But. It's the hardest part, and the coolest part, again, I always like, and this is why I do this this show, is right, because of the psychological end of it. I love that part. I know no one believes that, right? But I, I absolutely love that part and always have. And so I look at it and think, oh, this is, I wasn't scared, which I look back now or thinking unsure. I look back now and I'm thinking, that was pretty naive. And then I thought, this is going to be pretty cool. What's the worst that can happen? I was going to say. What's yeah. the worst that can happen? But in my mind, I'm thinking, I know we can do this. Right. And then Bobby, uh, so we come together, and I'm, I'm just looking at this game, and I'm thinking, huh. And then I remember, I think we got smacked in Harrisburg. We got beat by San Diego, right, at home, right? I think, and Brian Quinn, do you remember mm -hmm. Brian Quinn? Mm -hmm. Brian, and I, he was my roommate. So after the game, this is a great story. You'll love this story. Uh, so you know on the stage, and mm -hmm. then there's that curtain that goes across, right, right? right? So I was on the stage talking with Brian just because he's a friend of mine, right? And, you know, we roomed together, so on, so on. And I said, yeah, we were awful. And I said, we? I didn't say them. Right. I said, we were awful. We're, you know, we gotta, we're trying to figure this out. And then, the meanwhile, I knew what, what we had to do. I saw something. I saw something, saw mm -hmm. something. And so I'm talking with Brian. Then five minutes later, I get this <laughs> behind the curtain. Pulls me over, and this is my maybe second day right there. I think it was pulls me pulls me into a private room. Pulls me in a private room. Well, I can't. Uh, you you can't say this. You can't do this. You can't. And and so you know me, right? And I'm sitting there. I'm, and no, I'm sorry. I'm standing there and I'm going, and I'm burning up. I mean, I'm literally burning up inside. But Bobby just hired me, right? right? Bobby just hired, and I can and, and I do want to do this. Right. And so now I'm really conflicted, <laughs> right? To All be right, me? Sir, no, problem, no, sir. no, 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 not that yet, right? So again, I go and respect in everything, everybody. I give yeah, everybody. I, never, I, right? I always do. Oh, uh, this is a great story. If I've really told the whole truth, uh, well, I'm leaving the little bits out. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I do not believe this is happening. I do not believe this is, so I walk away and I tell Bobby, and I say, Bob, I, I let him know everything. And what was great about Bobby, right, right. Bobby let, let me, right, express myself, let me do my thing, right. but he kept control on the outside with everything, and so he allowed X amount of things to happen, right, right. which and we'll get into this, right, right. so, and, and I'm sweating at this time when I'm talking to him, and I let it go, and I, I kind of look, but I'll never forget this, right. right? Because it was, someone was very ticked off, not because about of what you said. About your conversation? It wasn't the conversation. It was about the situation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that we're coming in, right? And something's news happening. And so I re remember saying to this guy, the Brian Quinn, I said, we're going to get worse before we get better. Right. And do you know why I mean that? Right. By, that what, what do you mean? All, that happens all the time. Yeah, but why yeah. do you think that? What, what do you think I meant by that? I'm curious what you think. Well, until you figure things out, are you going to go through all different tries and things that might not work? And, and you're, you're establishing something that's new, right, right, that right. they're not used Whenever to. Whenever you bring and, in something different. And, yes, yeah. and they got to believe in it, yeah. right? So it's not just, we're doing this, we're doing that, right? And that's the end. They got to believe in it. They got to see it works, right? right? right, right. And that was. The key, I think, with what Bobby, you know, Bobby did. You're saying he came down to the field. It may be an old, but that old school logic, mate, for him, Absolutely. says, "Listen, all right, this is. Let's see where this goes. Let's right. see where this goes." And people started believing, Absolutely. I think, in that. And then one of the things that you guys do not know, right? That group that was running your your team was slowly broken up. Absolutely, I, I remember kept that. them there, but. <clears throat> 
kept a little have a little, but pull one off to the side, pull another off to the side, pull another off to the side. So then they knew I wasn't lying, right? Mm -hmm. Or we weren't, me and Bobby, we had their back, but we couldn't allow this to happen. Right. And then you win a game. And then this kid or this guy gets some credit. Now he's thinking, you know what? This is this is a little different, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. I, we believe. A then a young kid comes in. I forget his name. I, the guy from St. Louis, who um, you know his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it was Alan Eller. There Alan was Eller. who was the kid with the long hair, yeah. the dark hair. You remember him? He was in St. Louis. He left us. Yeah. But anyway, this kid was like a a fringe player. Talk, we he wasn't even around. And he ends up getting a goal, doing some. So this, it's all starting to come around. So now, if this guy doesn't do well, part of this group, right? This click. Okay, okay. If you don't want to right. buy it, there's another guy, and we're winning, and we're winning. And then the other guy that was very, very, you, you know him, very voiceful, right. and tried to intimidate people all the time, and blah, 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 blah. that wasn't happening no more. Right. right, so that he lost that steam, so that wasn't happening anymore. Today's show is brought to you by Gunpowder Lodge. It is the number one place to watch Premier League and all your soccer games in Baltimore County. For great food, great people, great atmosphere, featuring weekly chef specials. They also have a great setup with outside seating and a fenced-in children's playground next to the Gunpowder River. Happy hours, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., located at 10092. Bel Air Road, Kingsville, Maryland. So now, now you're starting to get this cohesion a little bit. Mm -hmm. So now we'll go to, so you, you start winning a game here and there, right? Mm -hmm. Now what's happening here? Steam, yeah, all all the trust now. factors that weren't there before. Who are you trusting? Well, we trust the system, trust the yeah, coaching trust style. Did you really trust the system? I'm being serious. I don't know. Well, I've never asked you this. Well, I, I honestly no, but I think that. I think we started getting more trust in each other. Absolutely. Um, and this is, confidence. that's funny Everybody he said, you know, what, that's, you know, that's funny you said that. Because yeah. when you win, who gets the credit? Yeah. You're told the same, players. 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 When you lose, players. who gets blamed? Coach. Coach. Yeah. <laughs> so this is so, yeah. th it's typical, yeah. right? Absolutely. But as a coach, you both know this, right? You both know this, is that that's okay. I'm okay with that. That's yeah, part of the, have to be okay that's part of the job. Yeah. But if you look back exactly. and you say, well, oh, all of a sudden, you, when you coached, or this, and this is happening, this is happening, and you, they say, well, the players figured it out. You know, we figured it out on our own. Well, why didn't you two and a half, three years ago before all that? So right. something there subliminally, right, some maybe a little, un I shouldn't say subconscious, right, mm -hmm. is happening. Absolutely. And, again, it's funny that you said that, that we, you, the players started figuring that out. And I don't know whether it was that part, but you said you started figuring out and believing in the system a little bit. Right. Did you believe in the system? As for, do you remember even what the system was? I bet I, you don't. I know, I, I I know defensively yeah. we went to more like of a zonal type of press. I do remember that. What those exact things right. were called remember, it and right. all that. What about yourself? No, I, do you I, remember? I, I do. I do. Well, I remember. Because I think that was one of the – you know, not to go back to what other coaches were doing, but that was one of the biggest contentions about um, about our group. Some of us were in man-to-man -man set, like mindsets all the time, and going pressing and pressing hard man-to-man. -man. And then other guys were like playing just zone. Running yeah, then the you're out of that. That's just all never yeah. screwed up. We're never, One's off we're week, never yeah. in sync. So yeah. I think that was part of it. Was like, all right, we got to figure out. This is your responsibility. Yeah, yeah. we got to figure out one thing. That this we're is doing your responsibility. And, yeah. and stick and then, to it. Personally, I, I use this example not just because you're here, but I, people that I coach and people that I, when I went to take the job, you know, with the Heat, um, I use that a lot and, and I bring it up. When I start feeling like, okay, maybe he's not the A-licensed coach, maybe he's not the world champion coach, but what he's saying to me after playing professionally a couple of years, it's making a difference now how I look at the game how I look at myself when I step on the field practicing in games because I remember you will go come to me and say, look, I don't care. I know that you're good on the ball, whatever you feel like you wanted to do things and you wanted to take people on. Oh, that's your strength. I don't care what you do. And you used to tell Chile the same thing, and I care this forever. Do you think the only thing I'm going to ask you is if you lose the ball, just get back, defend it, we're good to go. So to me it was just like he's giving me 
the I'm not taking you know, anything the, away from you. The right. confidence, right. 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 And you let you me have do what all I like the freedoms, do. but you got to do. Absolutely. You as long defend. as as you get back and defend, because yeah. we're we're a team here, and then that's very. I think that everybody got to that that point that, that changed, is just that like. Changed. And I do you think went around freeze too a lot of times, which you guys did not like. No, you did not like, which I I didn't I didn't like it either either as a player, but. It, it, it helps in the long run, mm -hmm. which people who aren't gathering, you know, picking that up. Mm -hmm. San Diego did it. The guy did it. Uh, uh, Ron Newman used to do that. Uh, it gives you energy down the line or whatever, whatever yeah. that reason was. But well, it's that's funny. Job, understand the idea. Like but that's funny that, that you do remember. So suddenly, but you would not buy into that if you did not win, am I right? You would not. It would have been a lot harder. Be harder. Yeah. Just yeah. the results, the pressure of winning, losing, and losing the job possibly or getting trade or... Having a new so guys you want your stats up? You want this? You want that? Right? You got to look out after yourself. Am I, am, is that Absolutely. right? Yes. Yeah. Like personally, what do you remember when? I don't remember when it clicked. Do you remember? I have no I idea. I, I think don't. it was a game against Cleveland at home. Are you sure about this? And we won. We won. Yeah. And Cleveland was giving us trouble all with, the time. All the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, and, it, and they had like. Jeez. I think it was the way that we set up. So you, th go ahead. I'm sorry. I think it was the way that we set up and negated some of what Otto used to do, throwing mm -hmm. the ball out. Well, and, and there was another. I don't know if you then, remember. Go ahead. And, and then, who was their main player? Their main player, Hector. Hector. Zorn. Yeah. Hector okay. Zorn. So from my point of view. Yeah. You right? love that Scott. You used to tell us like, look, if this guy. He can't he, run. Yeah, and you used to tell and us. We like, were talking you about play, the, play in the very beginning for everybody to get back when to you played Morrison. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing because I did this as a player. Do you think I want to freaking mark Precky? Do you think I want to mark Tattoo all the time? I'm just using these for example. Right. I'm going to mark him, but I'm going to run him. And if he doesn't come with me, then, then play man I, down. I, I, the, that's it. Now you're a man down. Right. So if he comes with me, now he's that much further where he has to be. So that was always my mindset as a, a defender and as a forward, mm. right, or even as a midfielder. So, again, it's funny. So that when do you think it was? I, I, I can't remember what, all, what I, from when I saw it, I, I look at and you, you do too as coaches, right? I, you look at the bigger picture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and we had enough time when we came in, right? When Bobby came in, he brought me in. We had enough time to change the system. It didn't, yeah, we it didn't have two weeks, the, three stretch, weeks or a right, month. Right. But it was, it was it, we had it enough midway, games. It was more midway through then. Right, right. right. so yeah. it was a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing that you gotta believe in me. Huh. I've, I, already believed, I already believed in the players. I always did, that's one of my faults. Even though maybe I hang on too long or whatever, because I always think I can change somebody. I think, and some that, again, that's that's not a strength of mine. I don't think there's a there's a fine line there, yeah. right? Uh, so I believed in what I was going to do, and then I knew I had to get you to respect what I was doing or what Bobby was doing. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you had to respect it, and the only way you would do that was talking to you, some of you individually, talking and, and putting it all together, generalizing and seeing that. The results are happening, right? And then you see, okay, this game won. Huh, that's one hurdle, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's another hurdle. And at, at the time, Milwaukee was the main team, mm -hmm. absolutely. right? So yeah. you guys are looking at Milwaukee. Cleveland, Milwaukee. Milwaukee was winning it. Yeah. Milwaukee didn't lose, right? Oh, yeah. They won the year before. Yeah, they, and then they had Victor. They had all these players, the absolutely. brothers. They had yeah. the kids up front, right? Uh, and so what I'm thinking, we, we play Milwaukee, we get beat. Right, we got smacked or something one time, and I'm looking at, and I, I don't know if you remember this, right? And I'm looking at, uh, me and Bobby are talking, and I'm looking at Milwaukee. Okay, I, I, I've got them figured out. I already know what they do. Then I can remember asking players, "What is our system?" And I remember saying, and somebody was being a smart ass, and I, and I can't say who says, "Well, we don't have a system." And I went, "You're exactly right." So if I don't have a system, right? How are you going to figure out how I play? Right. Now, Milwaukee, knock it into the big boy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Solsky, I think it was at the time. Solsky knock it. He out. holds it. Uh, then they lay it, lay it off. They, they come in as a, as a group. Well, Michael was still playing, too. Michael King was still yeah. playing. Hauser. Yeah. So Hauser. that's the same yeah. principle. You can see what they were doing right. all the yeah. time. Yeah, they used yeah. right? targets. And yeah. it really didn't take players on, did they? Mm -mm. No. So Don't that's measure, yeah, yeah, not really yeah. the hold, roll, right, maybe once in a while. The one guy did a little bit. Montana was there. Uh, he he would run there. off. He would yeah. run off players, right? right? The little guy in the middle, right? right? He would knock it in. They'd run off, and they they push up with their backs a little bit. Okay. So it's figured out. It's figured out. Now they play Baltimore, right? And 
we're in last place or whatever we were at the time, and building, 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 right? Get to the playoffs. Didn't we get to the playoffs? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we beat – every game was on the road. It was Philadelphia, Cleveland, was it? Yeah, I remember, uh, is that the year that we had to play Milwaukee twice? We played Milwaukee there. We were getting right there. We had to, at had the to end. play them like a Thursday and Saturday. We beat them twice. Yeah. Well, they beat, no, they beat us. No, we beat, no, them, we twice. beat them twice. We remember Milwaukee. coming home. No. We were 2 and 0. No, yeah. that was when we went, that was our third year. That's when we just, no, I'm sorry, the second year. That was the second year where we just went right through it. Yeah, right? We didn't lose. Possibly, there was when we went up there and we were losing like 13 to 2. Don't you remember? We were losing. Yeah, well, that he, was the final game. That well, was the, the final, final game. game. I'm talking about the playoffs. Yeah. But I, when oh, we the kicked playoffs, them out of the playoffs, that, wasn't that was the second year then. We, we kicked them out of the playoffs. We played them both times in the home. We played them both times in the final. The second yeah. year, first year, and the second year. And the year. second year. Yeah. yeah. So but we play, I think, Philadelphia. I don't know what it was. And then Cleveland on the road. And then we went to Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. The th second year, we, it was easy, right? Well, I think we swept them. But it was the first year. Don't you remember when we won in the last freaking minute? Yeah. Well, you scored the game winner. That was, yeah. That was, was that you? Yeah. Billy Nelson hit that long, like, three or whatever you it was. Off and then the, it you. Was, yeah. Yeah. It was 12, uh, 12, four. 12, no, 12 four. three or 12 four. They were winning. He was going like this tozer guy who was there. Some their some coach. Were coming hey, down. He, was, he used to put me on another <laughs> level, right? He'd take his. He was going like this, looking over, this looking <laughs> over at me, going like this with this thing. And I'm sitting there and I'm going. Oh yeah. my God! But he is smacking us. He deserves <laughs> right. it. He, he, it's killing me right <laughs> now. But yeah, and then a goal. And then a goal. And then a goal. Wow. Of the, oh, I don't believe this. Then you I, turn around, face him. No, then I'm Where's my looking, cow? Where's my I, cow? I could not believe. <laughs> and then we end up winning. He is face and Victor's well, face. And yeah. but I, I remember that. that whole thing, that build up. Yeah. But again, we're getting a little bit off. We're really going ahead of time. I'm mean, ahead of what we're trying to get to. Is when did you think you could actually win it? Did, was there a time where you said, because um, we were still weren't in first place. We were never no, in first place. When, when no, we, we were under yeah. dogs. Yeah, because we had to go yeah. travel yeah. the whole time. But we, you whole know, time. honestly, it, it, you have that feeling when you're, you're playing well, right, and, and then you're beating the teams that they're like supposedly to be the top teams, but you're matching with them. You're playing them, and you, you give them a hard time. You're winning against Cleveland, Philadelphia, fighting for playoffs, and, you know, at the time, Harrisburg it was just okay, but you beating the big teams that we used to go and get big our asses kicked all the time, and you're like, okay, so now we're part of this this whole party here, Kansas City, all whatever the teams you, we used to look at those guys like eh, they're gonna play in the finals, but now we beat them, we're playing well, now we're like, okay, the confidence there, and I remember we had a couple, you know, a lot of different guys from, uh, um, you know, out of the country too, then we start. That was the second Challenge. year, right? Yeah. Second that, year. Was that was the second year when yeah. we had like Chile you, yeah, and uh, Neil, Neil and all, and all of that. Yeah. That's but then right. you have you you feel that. It, it, I don't think there was a game. It was mostly like throughout the week training and playing up and, and winning. You know, once in a while, like you just like we will be losing this game. Like if it was a two months ago, like definitely. So we start feeling better, confidence, winning. Our, our players, okay, again, our players starting to like each other a little bit more. Or getting along yeah. more yeah, than I mean, just yeah, like that helps. before. I mean, did that happen? Yeah. yeah, at the airport, hotels, and right. It wasn't that closet. click as much. There's still a click. Yeah. There was still definitely a little bit, but it wasn't like that strength. And you're right. outside, and do you, did that happen? Happened, did you feel that yeah, change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I don't know that. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, we're just I'm just speculating from the outside. Saying, well, things are going good because we're winning. Blah blah. Young kids are getting involved. They're running for right. players, and players are still somewhat happy, and all this kind of stuff. But you really don't know what's going on inside. Because I know when I used to play, I just, I mean, I, I really wasn't involved in any click. I mean, I was too young. I didn't know any of this. I was mm -hmm. an, an idiot, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and I used to just go home and do my thing or whatever it was, knew my own people. And I'd come to, and I loved playing. But once I played, I loved playing. And I didn't mind people. I just didn't, I didn't have the click. But it wasn't like when you're in a losing scene and there's a, a hardcore oh, yeah. click. Yeah. And it's miserable. I mean, you know that, what it's like. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that dissipated, you think, a little bit? Yeah, I, yeah, I think it did. I think it did. Um, I, I think it was pretty obvious that in order, any sport you play, you got to come together somehow, right? You don't you, always you, have to like not, each other, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you got to, you're fighting for one another at some point, and I think you saw that. And that, that did happen. It, yeah, it, it did, did happen, because yeah. we had several games where we were behind, 
You know, oh, that, that's a perfect example. In the, playoffs, out to, in the playoffs, we've got to figure out how, how we're going to come well, down. Think, ab yeah. think about this, too. So when a new coach comes in, right, Not whether it's me, whether it's you, whether it's you, uh, so we change some people. Yeah. Yeah. We change PJ from up top. He played up top. Yeah. Billy Nelson. Put him in the back, right? We put him. Danny went from where? Didn't Mr. Play in the back middle. and went to the middle? No, no, no he, was in, he was in the middle. Then and I, then we put him back. in the back yeah. 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 because he didn't have his legs. Right, and he had an uh, ankle problem. Right, so he, he didn't have that. Stuff. And he became very valuable well, in that with back. With experience and playing and right. the skills so, to come Again, from the back. that's a transition. He could say, go f, yeah, yeah. f yourself, right? PJ, I just didn't think was that talented up top to take player. He could hit a ball, mm -hmm. right? You know, he had that strong, yeah. and he could hit a ball, he could work, he worked hard, but he didn't have that skill mm -hmm. set that you two have, or Jules had, or something like that. So it's best to put him where he had his skill set. Right. Mm -hmm. And then he's got to believe in that. Is that correct? Yeah. And then he ends up believing it, believing it, believing it. So it, it, it's a transition for people to believe in it. Going back, do you think you would have done that if we had never played before? If the coaching staff yeah. for me, you think it would have been harder? Yeah, it would have been a lot yeah. harder to swallow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for uh, you know, not that you change my position, but I could just if I put myself in somebody else's spot, and or if you'd said to me, "All right, you're going to go play midfield now," you would say for what? Ah. If I didn't, you're right. would that be I, yes? I yeah, you don't know. What do you see? Ah. Right. You, you know what I mean? But out of respect yeah. for your coach, you go do it. But at the same time, are you're you in putting the it? Yeah, because there's you no are, confidence in yourself. Yeah, you got some self doubt. Yeah. You know. And then you're I remember you yourself. You're doubting, like, all right, is this really going to work? Yeah. And, and then are you putting 100 percent right? into it? Because you have a little doubt in it. Yeah. Right. You have a little yeah, doubt. Well, you don't believe in this guy, right? Yeah. At this particular time. I remember so. you taking uh, Bill and Nelson, and too, like, again, took it to, to my coaching stuff uh, when I was coaching. Even the kids, you know, when I coach, to me, it's just like as a forward, you get the ball, and you, if you're facing your own goal, I don't have to worry about it. I'm just marking you. You're not dangerous at all. But as soon as you face me, and I'm like, oh, shit, okay, this guy. It's changes. He, he, he has the confidence. He's facing me. You know, so I remember you taking that to Billy, and that happened in the, you know, in going to the finals. He's facing, well, he's facing. He used to just play to the goal and back, make a run and come back again, play into the goal. Never face the, his own the pass. forwards. Yeah, yeah. then all of a sudden, now he's in the finals he's going facing the top uh, the top scorer in the league, the, you know, the, the Twins, and you had the Hauser, you have uh, uh, Michael King. So now he's getting the ball from the goalie. Uh, I think it was uh, what Scott. Uh, the yeah. first yeah, year Scott. was no. The first year was the other one. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. The I second they, year was I Scott. Think they, they played. I think yeah, they, they went mixed, back yeah. and forth. Oh, Brett, yeah, Brett, 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 Brett. They exchanged though. They're they both did. Both, yeah. Yeah, Scott in the finals, Scott got pissed yeah. at us yeah. Yeah. for putting in. It's okay. It happens. <laughs> yeah. He's still got the. He's no, I remember all that. But Scott was MVP the following year. Yeah, but but again, collecting the ball now and you facing the top forwards in, in in the league you're telling them like look Take them yeah for the run. I'm, I'm good yeah i know you don't want this but you know what i'm facing you so now to me right there you did that or the coaching staff did that on the field at practice to show him how to do it not just saying billy come on man you gotta you gotta you face those guys it's just like you're not how and when I'm not, yeah. shit. I'm not doing it. but you just like time out come here i remember you put him on the side and say all right face him now what are you going to do as a forward? Uh, you're going to have respect Pretend you're now. going this yeah, way. Yeah, you have respect this, this guy position. Now. That's right. you got to worry right. about him. So then those are the things that, again, it takes for you to say it to somebody, and it's different from saying it, show, show it, it. Mm. and let me see you try it. Encourage the guy during the game, and then go back to see, see what happens. It can change somebody, and, and it was a huge change for Billy. Billy changed his whole game by that. Today's show is brought to you by Barracuda's Locust Point Tavern, located at 1230 East Ford Avenue, Baltimore. Come down and see Billy Hughes. He's been a chef for over 30 years. Barracuda also has daily specials. The codfish cakes are great. I was down there last week, and I had the fish tacos. Brilliant. Billy puts out a great dish, great atmosphere, friendly. What more else do you want from a place? Neighborhood bar and restaurant. Morgan, what do we got? We good? Bam. That's it. You know Morgan? Look at Morgan. Morgan's brilliant he's at this. Very I tell you, he, she's always she sits back there, has her headphones on, doesn't say a whole lot. One she's day I'm gonna. Listen to she's a coach. Soccer coach. She's a coach. No. You're no. lacrosse. Lacrosse coach. Okay. Don't hold it against her, but she's a coach. No, that's that's right. I, don't, I don't know that sport. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get that sport can't. at all. Rugby's the one I can't figure out. I don't know what they're well, doing. Lacrosse and, in our country will never work. 
In Brazil? Brazil. What, what's good in Brazil? Two things. Okay, there's some things I can't Two say. things are good in Brazil. No, <laughs> jiu-jitsu. Their fighters are brilliant, right? And, and, and their soccer. Huh. And the carnival. <laughs> yeah, <it's> carnival. <laughs> soccer, <laughs> soccer, soccer, we're still <laughs> struggling, man. <laughs> yeah. Too struggling. All right, we're a little bit off subject. Uh, they're both involved in the youth uh, program right now. Uh, you have two boys playing, right? Two boys, uh, U8 and U14. You 14. Oh, my gosh. Sammy, right? 14. Sammy's 14. Oh, I don't believe he's 14. So it, he's going to uh, Loyola, right? He goes to Loyola, yeah. Seventh grade right now. So. Seventh grade. And then so he's got yep. two more years to two more years be with high school. Lee, right? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yep. How's Loyola yep. doing now, high school-wise? Um, we're like middle of the pack right now. Oh, you're uh, assistant. That's right. Yeah, you're help there. That's, the right. that's right. That's so. right. Um, no. The kid's Rick, gonna play for Rick, sure. Then. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Rick has about fifteen jobs. Go ahead. I was gonna yeah. Say, like, yeah, he's yeah. a coach here. He's a coach so, here. He's all right. Yep, he works at the car place. He uh, car does loans, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. And pizza place. <laughs> so, uh, so go yeah. ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. So yeah, so Loyola's doing well. We um, uh, we were undefeated last year, so our season's a little bit different this year. We I think we clinched a playoff with oh. our last win. What is it, the top four or six? So now this year they did something completely different where they split an east and a west. So, are you kidding me? Yeah, so. So how many teams, teams are in it? Ten teams total. There's ten teams are in the playoffs? No, ten teams, ten teams on each. In, in the league. league. In the in league, league. So right? Five and five, so. Okay, so how does that work playoff-wise? I think it's going to be the top three. In each go. division, yeah. right, exactly, the six. Side. Okay, yeah. that's pretty cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's, yeah. A little, that's a little different. So then they'll play, you know, the one, team one, I think, uh, first place teams will get a bye. And what? Two uh, okay, two and three play, and then, the uh, side, that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. So who's yeah. favorite, Curly? Uh, Curly's undefeated this year, yeah. so, yeah. So is he looking forward to it, Sammy? Sammy or a little is, bit uh, scared? So he was at Loyola last year playing sixth grade. Right. But they don't let their sixth graders play, so he's been a whole year there. Just in school, itching for to play to, to do play, something. Yeah, That's so, cool. And Tariq so wasn't the assistant coach too, so that he was the coach there too. You, you under you, sevens? Uh, well, no, seventh grade, right? Weren't you a coach there? Help, yeah. Helping? Yeah. See, yeah. there oh. and then the varsity. Jesus yeah. That's awesome. Man. Yeah, so we got a little program set up now. Kids that come in from the middle school. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant if you can do that. Right. You can keep them around, and then they can groom them from there, and you got quality people. That's a good little. Uh, that is nice. It's a good little situation. I mean, that's hard to find people. Lee's played, right? Tariq's yeah, played, yeah. so I mean, that oh, that could help a lot. Uh, how about yourself? I know you got a little girl. Danielle. Well, she's not a little girl. anymore. That's right. Eighteen, man. Oh, she's eighteen, 18 years old. Eighteen. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Your little, your girls are always little girls. My girl's oh, twenty-one. No, Going to be twenty-one. It's, it's still my baby. It's not. It's, still it's the baby, not. Right? I keep on saying my little girl. Well, how old is she? She's twenty. She's going to be twenty-one. Well, she's not little anymore. <laughs> I'm telling you, she is. She is right. Yeah. Stop looking. That's what I'm gonna like, do. Stop. I'm telling you right now. Oh, oh, man, you have no just, idea. Uh, yeah. It it's tough, fast. isn't it? Yes. Yes. And you know, again, and uh, we've been together for so long. You know, playing and knowing each other for and seeing those kids that used to come and watch uh, our games. Um, it, it, you know. The kids I remember Daniela's like birthday a, party. Uh, see, yeah. The little we ones were in caring. Columbia. Yeah, yeah. Columbia at the restaurant, Brazilian absolutely. restaurant. Absolutely. Birthday party. I think yeah. she was like seven or eight years old. Yeah. Oh, my but I remember God. seeing uh, all the kids, like moms holding them on the stands, and, you know, they used to uh, to be like running around after the game, see, losing, he, winning, just wanted to run around. He and was go. great with the fans, wasn't he? Yeah. He, would, he was like a politician. He would kiss the babies. <laughs> he would go he's out mayor, right mayor, yeah. and then everything would go on Facebook immediately. Let's take a picture. Yeah, but they didn't he's have brilliant. They, they didn't, didn't have, have the internet in back in Otherwise, 18 Otherwise, I would have been the mayor in that <laughs> I will talk to you. I'm not kidding. I had people um, I had people coming to my apartment. I'm not lying to you, man. My apartment dropping off card. Uh, Dropping a card, what are like we talking car, about? Like a little card, like a Christmas card. A card or a card? A card, like a signed card, Christmas card. You know, hey, I couldn't, uh, nobody was home, and we just, I just left it by the door. I'm like, holy shit, well, how do you know that, <laughs> you know, you know over here? But, yeah, and then. Tariq, uh, did he, you think he ever man. spoke to any fan? No, Tariq. He <laughs> didn't speak. We didn't know Tariq actually I see spoke the for the first, for the first, the yes. first three Listen, years. We he thought did, we he had did a problem. Did he did most, we didn't know he could speak. I did the most. Yeah, but you never spoke in one of them. You was, were just. It was the one behind yeah. the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq is behind the curtain right there. Okay, Subtitles. Yeah. Right, and Tariq is signing autographs. The guy like, thank you. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it, it, it was tough, yeah. but uh, complete, like I said, no, they got a lot I in common. Yeah. But uh, fam-wise, did you love that? Did you like that kind of stuff? I liked it. I, uh, did you like it? I did. I, you I did. Like Are it. you just saying that because of now? I mean, I absolutely, my first couple years, right, I absolutely, I was thrilled with it. I loved it. You know, and I was respectful. For, I believe it or not, I'm telling you, nobody believes this. <laughs> right? Right? But I, I am I'm very shy. I hate to tell you. I, I, no one, I shouldn't hate to tell you, but I, no one believes this. I'm in my own atmosphere right here, right? right? And where I'm in my own atmosphere, I can open up, right? And I may do things a little different than most, right? No but <laughs> I'm not one to go into a party. and I'm just not good with that. I, I've never have been. The fan thing, I, I had to get used to. And, and I would sign autographs all the time, believe it or not. I would do all this. I would do appearances, right? Then it got to a point where some fans, some fans would just be way over the top. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, you would think, and if you played bad, or let's say you weren't doing so well or something, how quick they would turn, yeah. right? Yeah. Which I had a hard time with saying, okay, I'm okay when you win. I'm okay with you, blah, blah, blah. But if I lose... Uh, you know, I, sh I still got to be okay with you. And, and I mean, that was huge that season because if you think about oh, that oh season God. that we had. People would oh boo you up in the yeah, stands. They would yeah, absolutely. Was, then, but then all of a sudden, hey, you guys are winning. You're the yeah. best. You're the man, yeah. I mean, you see this Daddy. with the football. Yeah. People are saying, oh, they're we garbage. Were, I was they're shocked just, that yeah, season. Man. Remember we hit, we had like a parade or something? Yeah, we did. And that's all right. the people that all came sudden, out and like, like you here? Yeah, seriously? Like, seriously? I remember you. That's right. yeah, you remember you like, were booing yeah, me yeah. and saying I was a piece of I shit. I haven't seen you for months. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. The first month and then we start losing. Now yeah. you're out. It's part of the yeah, game. Yeah, it yeah, is yeah, part yeah. of the game. It some, is part of it. Yeah, yeah. some people are better than other people at it. One of the things, man, in Baltimore, that you know, coming from outside, it to me, I was. Welcome, you know, in, um, in the community, you know, playing. It was honestly, and I said it to a few people, when I first started playing in Baltimore, um, it was with a, uh, with, a, with, with a bass. So I had a really good time. That with the bass? I don't know who yeah. you're talking the, about. The, with the, the, when you guys we, played. It was USI, like USI is so. What the heck yeah. is that? Yeah. Baltimore bass. The Baltimore outdoor. bass. Oh, outdoors. And then indoors, outdoor. too. I, I actually came up oh, with an indoors. You're yeah. talking about the thing down at Dew Burns? Yeah. Where they would give a bike away at okay, halftime? Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, okay. <laughs> I do. <laughs> okay. All right. But then that was an introduction. Welcome to Baltimore. Right. So I will, used to live in <laughs> okay. Alexandria, Virginia. Marcelo, Marcelo, Valencia. We used to drive all the way to practice. Here once uh, once a week, and we'll come and play, and then we had to, the finals. It was uh, in a different city for the weekend and stuff. So the finals was it was tough. We played like guys in from the league, the the, the NPSL, the NCSL, whatever. All the, we played them in the big finals, and we end up winning. I remember winning uh, winning with uh, with the base at least. Two times, maybe three championships. What did, the, championship. what did those ten fans think of that game? <laughs> 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 I gave away at least five. Now we, but again, it was nice for the fact that it, you know, like this I'm, was new to you, right? To me, it was right, just right. like, wow, this is nice because I used to play in the summer league and to come out and play in the winter league. So that's how I got introduced to, you know, to the, to the people that it was when I heard about, hey, we're gonna bring the blast back. I said, what's the, what's the blast? I had right. no idea about. It. Like, yeah, well, they told me the story. I'm like, well, I'll do it. I'm in. Right? Yeah, I'm in. Like, yeah. And so that's what it was. We're going to bring the Blast next next year back. We want you to be part of it. Okay, great. So I had a good time. But the Blast thing, man, I, I'm not kidding. For me, it was just like the, if the Blast fans in the past, I don't know anything about now. But the, the going into the game, to me, starting from the parking lot, the guy was running the parking lot right there. It was a high five. It was nice. They knew the name. Mm -hmm. The guy was there talking to them, right? And then into into the locker room security, into the, the the security staff and the fans, they're just like man, they're brilliant, they're, wasn't it? They're yeah. crazy. It's cool. They like the, the, the hug and the kiss. The Baltimore Arena had some of yeah. the best oh, staff. Oh, it was. Yeah. It was staff there. I mean, there, I a, that is really, really really yeah. cool. The whole the whole experience was the one guy that used to yell about the game, talk about the game. Oh, the ball. You remember that guy? I, I do the remember guy with the all beard? Yes! yes. Yeah. Was he there? Yeah, no, no. He was there when I was there, yeah, yeah. with the spirit days. But I remember not with the Blast. He used to oh, he was games uh -huh. and stuff. No, he the was Bill uh, something? I think his name was. I can't open. I don't know. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah, but, we had uh, a good time, and it was, it was fun. I, I, I always look forward to that, and then I always, like, you know, I, I embraced the, the whole thing because I felt like, shit, those guys, 
ask for my autograph. Like, so what's seriously. the what's the new arena? Not to not to I, cut I, you I, off. What do you think? I, I don't. I was just going to ask you this whole thing. The end kind of, and we've been going on for what hour and twenty minutes. So we're almost. I got to end this because you got to work, right? Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the difference, not the difference. You can say today's game, right? I try. I watched it on television. I watched. I think there was a quarter. No semifinals. I watched San Diego play, right, because of Landon Donovan, mm -hmm. and then I watched. I think it was a final. Was it Milwaukee and? Uh, who the heck else was it? No, they played the Mexico. Mexico, right. Mexico, yeah. right? So I watched the game. I watched Mexico play San Diego, right? And they ended up winning. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, because I haven't seen it, honestly, since then. I have no idea really what's going on. I think I came up and watched one game when you were coaching with Harrisburg mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but I, I haven't seen the game, right, since I, I kind of left. Well, you know, since I departed from that, <laughs> that, that situation. So... Uh, <laughs> Kind of left. Yeah, kind of left. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyway uh, uh, I was, Landon thing didn't impress me. I thought it was a bad, I think it was a great move for San Diego to do it because people would, I, I respect Landon. I think he's done great with the outdoor. I think he uh, was a very good player, one of the best U.S. players outdoor playing. Mm. To come in now, he's got to be 38 years old maybe and doesn't really know the game. And so me as a fan sitting outside, I want to see Landon Donovan do something. Yeah. It, it didn't work, okay? That didn't work. They didn't end up winning the thing. They didn't get into the final. So I thought that was a little bit, but it was cool to see San Diego's team with all the crowd, with Absolutely. the crowd there. I thought it, when I played there, it was yeah. the same thing. And I thought, this is pretty cool. That was one part. And then I'm watching, watching the final. And then our one guy's 42. Another guy was 40 for Mexico. Uh, how old's Chile now? Chile was like 60. <laughs> well, no, there was a lot of players yeah, no, I, yeah. that were up in 38, 40, right. 42. And I thought, that's, to me, that was a problem. When we coached, I remember Michelle. You remember? Yeah, uh, Millwood. Millwood. Yeah. He was coming up against Dosalski. Dosalski was getting a little older. And I can remember and say, just run him. He can't stay with you. Just run him. Because we, we, of course right. he couldn't, right? So I look at that now, right? And, they, and he wasn't 38 back then. Mm -hmm. I meant uh, right. Tosalski. But now you have these players, 40, 42, uh, 38, 37, 30. It kind of loses it for me a little bit. I'm not saying again. I think there's some very good players. And, you know, I think Baltimore has a good team, right? I think they have some younger players, blah, blah, blah. And I think there's some good players. But... For players to be at 38, 40, I, I don't care what you say. You're not at your best. You're yeah, not even it's, it's close. Tough, especially in a game like this. Yeah. But especially if there's everybody, like is a, if it's all the same, there's no difference. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. If another team has this, another. But now, if you have a young team where it can play with, you should be able to win almost every damn year, right? If yeah. that's the case, which is coming out of this league. And you know better than I do, both of you do. But there are a lot of older players which have no, no reason to be playing professional soccer. Yeah, it's, it, to me, I don't know, Trick, if you agree with this, but it's, the, the thing is, the, it, it was a major change from the time that I, we used to, that, I, that I played in 2011. It was my last year, I believe that's what it was. But the change is now you can fit in an older guy that can handle and play with the experience because honestly, and I coached two years, I can, the game is, can, can be like crazy. It's just like, and you need that person, the person with experience that can step on the ball, like Chile can do that, Martinez and some other guys can step on the ball and just like, I'm not gonna be running like you guys, you guys are like, this okay. is crazy. Okay, so now you're the opposing so you're team. Are you managing? Okay, you're managing. Even, even when we played, there were certain teams that had that one guy. That, right, right. Yeah, but how old was he? Who? Give but, me a guy, give me an example. Well, when I first came in, like, Tattoo was, like, in the end of his career. Yeah, I would love to play against Tattoo. Right, but the problem <laughs> is, yes, we didn't know how to adapt to that because you would score two or three goals or have five, eight points in the game. Well, because he's not chasing back and he stays up and high. Well, but that, whose winning. fault's that's that? A, oh, right, that's what I'm saying. So the, he, right. he Would you not like to play? Well, if you're young, if you're 25, 26, 27, you're... You're Tariq Walker or you're Denison back in your 20. Would you like to play against somebody that's 42? Uh, yeah. No one what we well, know now. Yeah, absolutely, yes. Yeah, but at that wait time, a minute, wait a minute. That, that, that doesn't time, make any sense. You're at your peak. That's easy to say. But the, yeah, because we nobody didn't, ever, we, we didn't, we weren't thinking the game then. Right. And we weren't getting coached to, to, to do those certain things I was then. I going to say that, yeah. And so at that time, even when we were playing, 
you know, like Hector wasn't young. Marineros so, weren't so, young. So, and so what happened towards the Michael end? Michael King weren't young. They so what happened? Those, they kids, still those like guys top weren't in the league. young. No, but so what happened? Still tops uh, uh, in the league. Gino DeFlorio? All those guys like... Okay, so, hey, so, so, so what happened when Baltimore ended up playing them? Later on. Well, what we, happened? We figured it out. We figured out a way, right. But then when we start figuring it out, it was just like... Well, not too long ago, those guys are like top scorer in the league, scoring over 100 points in the Well, there's a reason for that. And that's another thing that I look at it today, and and it is just like the social media, I I love it. I love it because I left, you know, at some of the the top scorer in the league and stuff. Today, the guys are just like, they relied on uh, promoting themselves as the team loses a game, but you're going to see the highlight. Hey, uh, you know, they they post they can post it after. Social media, yeah. Hey, uh, you know, like... I hope you like it. You know, last night, what a bomb, three-point goal, this and that. And that's it, the post. And I go like, okay, hold on a second. And I go back there. You guys lost a game. You guys suck. You're terrible. You score one goal here promoting yourself like you big shot. Let me see how many goals you're having in the season. Oh, the guy's a target with like four, five, six goals. And I'm like, are you <laughs> serious? Player, right. right? And we, right? We, that would never be, that would never happen. That right. would never, it would be like, don't post that stuff because people are going to dig in and ask you, like, what are you doing? And you're getting paid and you score, like, three or four or five goals only? So to me, it's just like, look, you know. Uh, back I then cut it was, this off. Yeah, <laughs> back, 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 then it was, back then it was a lot, honestly. Can you imagine for social oh, media? Okay. What, Zorn, well, Zorn and Gorn and, uh, and, 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 and Hector, those guys would have tattoo. They would, oh, my God, they would have, like, social media will be like. Well, here, but we're losing what I'm trying to say a little bit. I understand what you're saying, but the game should not have 42-year-old players I, playing in it. Well, I played. Be- I, I know it. I have it the I one time I came and I played. Mean, but, but, <laughs> and you know, I was like this. And I'm like, right. but at, at, at times, no players. And, and I go Me back too. to. As a joke, I shouldn't be playing on that I field. I should not but be playing. Even when we were 25, 20, there was always this team or certain teams that had the older guy that were played. Yeah, I understand that. And should okay. they have played? Probably no, not. But exactly. But, so as so a, a spectator, lot those, a lot of those guys are very, very successful too. That doesn't yeah, mean they. they that, that means something's wrong with the the league itself. Then, yeah. if a forty-two year old can be teams, successful, yeah. Yeah. In some all, teams. hey, all teams. Yeah, well, the guy should not be forty-two years old being successful in that team. Being they still might be do, do okay because they got other things. But if I can replace a twenty-seven-year-old. Opposed to a 42-year-old, who do you think is going to be much, much, Absolutely. much better for you in the long run? Yeah, there's so many I, and even in that final, yeah. there was a problem. Milwaukee, I think, was a little younger than that and, Mexican yeah, team. They, they, and they, they, they are they? Totally, yeah, yeah. And, and you can see the difference. You younger can see, but more experienced. But you could see the difference. Absolutely. You could see the Absolutely. difference. And I thought, yeah. But if that is that where the league is? So I'm asking. Happened? Milwaukee it's, lost it, right? No, they won. No, they won. They, they won. won. They won. And then, and and and. <laughs> but, I bring this up if I get <laughs> flour. And I just saw Giuliano, uh, you know, the coach who used to be, you know, a, player. a, a really good player. That I, I, I like the way he, he, uh, you know, he used to conduct himself. As so a where do you think this league is? So do you think this the league, league is? is a, it's a mix, you know, and you can see it's almost like you can see from far away who, who can win. There's some of the games. I'm not kidding. This is something that I, I, I'm not kidding. We didn't have to play any of those teams, but we go to somewhere. It's not in Mexico. Somewhere in California, and some. Jesus Christ, those guys are playing in front of. In a major people. in professional yeah. league, like 200 people in the arena that is just like, you can tell it's almost like the Burns make look like the Burns that is a huge arena. And, and, and to me, it's just like, you see those, not just 45 year old, but you see those guys that look 45, act like 45 <laughs> and play like a 45. They're like, okay, might as well like, and then you, you, the game is televised. And I go like, this is, that's if not I'm good. watching this, I go that's like, right. this is ridiculous, That's man. not good. When I saw some of those games, there was one or two players that had. Oh my! You go like this. I'm. I'm going like this. How can a professional <laughs> athlete? I, took, I, I take screenshots and then send it to the guys in the league. I can't like, believe that's allowed. Hey, I can't I'll believe. I'll play. It. Up. Right. I that's like I'll play. that's where I think the problem is. Yeah. But you've got the problem with money. You got the problem Absolutely. with all these things. I think it's a great little game. I think there are some very good players in in the game. Could be exciting, right? Yeah. But it's in that again. Yeah. Is it in that transition period, or is this where it's at? I don't know. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, hopefully, they can figure things yeah, out. Yeah, and, and I, Baltimore's a great little situation. Do I like that arena? I think but that. I think ar- everywhere is going to the smaller. And I think it's yeah. smart. Smaller venues. I think it's smart. I think that uh, that arena is so smart. I, I think yeah. it's a little bit of a transition that it is that teams are starting to get to a little bit smaller, and 
being and able and to and sustain I think that's a, themselves a little bit better. And I think that's for a good what idea. They're doing yeah. right, and I, I think I, it's a good idea. I, I like that that arena for that reason. What's it? Three thousand, four thousand people, three thousand people. Five at the max. Really? Standing I didn't room. think he was that that yeah, much. But there, there's some the other max. ones in the league that are the setup is it's a lot better when you're like watching the game you know the florida ones the tropical they have a really I nice saw arena, that smaller, arena on television perf, yeah good, yeah good, good setup they out don't there. draw at all uh, it, yeah it's in florida it's tough you know but but you know now they built this a little this all-star team they have like this a bunch of guys i'm not kidding well then they're putting money well, out a little bit yeah yeah and they 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 took some players from from the heat so some players from all over the league the milwaukee one of the guys that was well, one of the, not the players? top players, yeah, okay, but, yeah, it went to Florida. But anyways, uh, probably one of the best, if not the best goalie in the league that I that I can see. Um, but anyway, so uh, the another one, U uh, Utica. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. Perfect arena. Um, so that's the know, way to uh, go, you think? Is yeah, that and, that and, little? I, I do too. I mean, the big arena. what they do in the community mm -hmm. makes a difference. Well, that all that's why we struggle. And I don't. <laughs> you, I never talked to you about this, but we. I had a major problem going into a you know a, a team like uh, the Heat, and not see the like an involvement in the community. Yeah. I'm the, I'm I'm asking the the management. It's money. It's asking time. the management what, where we're going to go to school, okay. where we're going to go to yeah. to uh, Pierce's, where we're going to do something. I was like, eh, you know, well, well, we're working on it. it and yeah. used to the blast here, used to know yeah, about the yeah, walk. This is what you do. That's a major difference. To, uh, you know. I kind of equate it to you were spoiled a little bit. Absolutely. In yeah. Baltimore. Well, in Baltimore. Yeah. Yeah. Because that, you go to these other places and they don't have the okay, same. Okay, so Baltimore also has more money. Baltimore's uh, yeah. putting in more money than uh, maybe, I don't know now, but. but I, you know, you say and that makes it, a difference. You say putting in more money. But yeah, does players it take, get paid more. Does it take? Yeah. Does it take yeah. putting in more money yeah. to have involvement in the community? Yes. Here's, uh, uh, here's why. Well, because, Dennison, okay, you're making $10,000 this year. Well, I can't live. Well, I got. I got to have another job. So you got to go to appearance, though. No, I got my job. Now, if you're pay making, I'm just using for example, eighty thousand dollars, right? Dennison, can you go? Absolutely. I'll do this for eighty thousand right, dollars. That right. makes a huge difference because kids yeah. got to survive. They got to live. At 26, 27 years old, do you expect the guy making only X amount of dollars, right, to go out in the community when he's got to make a living? Might have a family. So it's tough that yeah, way. Yeah, but, but I I see true point too. It, there's, there's other ways to do it. There's there could be, but is it going to be as substantial? Be of, no. But yes, can Because you need them. Well, they need to see the players. They need to see. They need I to, do believe that. And, 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 so you're going to get young kids playing then, too, maybe. Local kids that right. like, you know I what, think I that's just, good. Wow, this is great. You know, like, this is great. But the It's easy for me and you and you to say this when we're not losing money, when there's 1,000 people at the game, well, 300 true. people, and oh. I'm losing, losing, losing. Where do I put my money? Yeah, yeah. me and you, we're, we're saying... The best way is let's put money in the community, right? And then those people will start coming to the games. And but there's a there's always that with that yeah. business side of it is, is you give and take, and then do where do you cut your losses? Anyway, listen, we could talk for five hours here again. <laughs> uh, but it, again, I always end this way saying it, you know it's been brilliant. I'm glad these two uh, showed up. Uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, because I, I definitely did. Appreciate it, my man. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. We do this all the time, don't we, Morgan? One more. We do this right here, and we pull him up. Yes, we always do this. But anyway, thank you very much. Today's show is brought to you by Gunpowder Lodge. It's the number one place to watch Premier League and all your soccer games in Baltimore County. For great food, great people, great atmosphere, featuring weekly chef specials. They also have a great setup with outside seating and a fenced-in children's playground next to the Gunpowder River. Happy hours, Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., located at 10092 Bel Air Road, Kingsville, Maryland.